Well, everyone agrees that the growing number of restaurant owners and chefs have their heart in the right place by removing Chinook salmon off their menus to preserve the fish and try and save the orcas. But the question is whether that is the best approach. We're now hearing from commercial fishermen like Pete Knutson, who points out that the vast majority of Chinook salmon served to restaurant customers are harvested from areas in waters that have already passed in front of the orcas. So Knutson's fished for 45 years. He's the commissioner of the Puget Sound Salmon Commission and says this blanket boycott of Chinook salmon is like taking a sledgehammer to a very very complex issue and it only hurts commercial fishermen. By and large, Puget Sound fishermen are also the best conservationists and the better option for restaurants, he says, is to keep Chinook on the menu, but maybe educate customers about where they were caught so the industry can be regulated by consumers. We are a constituency that's going to be fighting for the resource and the public needs to ally with those of us who live from the resource because we have a common interest in preserving the ecosystem. NOAA, the federal agency out to save the orcas, is also now weighing in, saying seafood customers can rest assured that when buying U.S. harvested salmon, they're managed sustainably and with careful consideration of the impacts to endangered and threatened species, and that includes our southern resident orcas. It goes on to say to us, fishermen in the Pacific Northwest and across the nation are among the greatest advocates for salmon protection and recovery. We need them to continue to support healthy runs and to fish in ways that protect the threatened and endangered salmon stocks we all want to see recover. Now we reached out to chefs like Renee Erickson in Seattle. She owns five restaurants and says they've decided to take Chinook off the menu until waters are plentiful and the ecosystem is safe. They call it a small attempt to make a difference and bring awareness, which they're definitely doing. A spokesperson says they're not trying to hurt the commercial fishing industry, but for now, they'll only buy pink and coho salmon. Jake Wittenberg, King 5 News.